The mute button is the button with the letter M, located below the track name on the channel strip in the edit window, and above the volume fader in the mix window. Activating the mute button will turn the button orange, and will silence the muted track until deactivated. You can mute multiple tracks at a time. To mute a region but not a track, for example if you wanted some regions on a track to be heard but not others, click on the region and use the short key Command M. You'll notice the region turns grey, that means it's muted. Repeat the command to activate that region again. Solo mode is kind of like the opposite of muting, it mutes all other tracks, allowing you to hear the output of a selected track. In some cases it's easier to solo a single track, rather than mute all tracks except the one that you want to hear. The solo button is the button with the letter S, located next to the mute track in both environment windows. The solo button is activated when it's yellow, and you'll notice that the other tracks in the session will display a kind of default mute. This allows you to quickly see if a track is soloed somewhere else in your session. There are different modes for solo. SIP or Solo in Place mutes other tracks and allows you to use Solo Safe Mode, which prevents the track from being muted even if you solo other tracks. To put a track into Solo Safe Mode, hold Command and click the track. Repeat the process to bring the track out of Solo Safe Mode. AFL or After Fade Listen, this means the level you hear depends on the volume fader. PFL or Pre Fader Listen ignores the volume fader. There's also Latch and XOR modes. Selecting Latch means you can solo more tracks and add them to the soloed mix of all soloed tracks. XOR cancels the previous solos as you select new ones.